Hey everybody, welcome back to your Python tutorial series. So, in the last previous, I mean in the last videos, we've talked about three big things. We talked about lists, tuples, and now we're talking about another similar thing that is known as a map. So, what is a map? Well, a map is also a, a grouping of different things. But instead of having an index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we have keys that point to that object. So I will show you how to make a map. Let's go with... Uh, da, 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 da. Let's think. Hmm. Let's go with favorite... No, okay, I have, I have a good one. Okay, let's say me and my friend, uh, my homie Sea Dog, invented our secret language, okay? And every single word in the secret language has a connection to an English word, all right? So let's, let's do this. Secret language. Now, for syntax, if we wanted to create a list, we would use an assignment operator and square brackets. If we wanted to make a tuple, we would use parentheses. Now, if we want to make a map, we use uh, we use these little uh, curly braces. So let's do this. What we do is we make the key. So let's say Yamakamaha. Okay, that's our secret word, right? I know it's weird, but whatever. Then what we do is we put a colon, and then we put the English word french fries. So basically you go to the store and you say I want some yamakamahamaha and they're like oh here's your french fries right? Cool. And then what you do that's a connection. This this one here this is the key. This is the value. There's an association between the key and the value. The colon makes that association. It's saying that this is the key for this value. So when we say yamakamahamaha or whatever, it's going to be french fries. Now, if we want to make another item in this list for our secret language, we put a comma. And then we can put another thing within this list. So let's uh let's make another word. Let's make it uh sweet do. All right. And what this means is this means homie. Alright? So now we have two words in our language. This is the first one. This is the second one. And the English meaning, this is the meaning for the first word. This is the meaning for the second word. Alright, so let's do a third word. Let's make it... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that. That's our third word. I know, it's crazy. And this means... You looking pretty hot. So now here is our language. We got Yamakamahama, Sui Do, and Sludge. <laughs> Alright, and then we can just press enter and now our new map is created. So we have three keys in this language. Here's our first key. Here is our second key. And here is our third key. You could also do this the other way around, French fries being the key and this being the value. It doesn't really matter for this example, but for some examples, it will matter. Basically, if, if you can flip it either way, it doesn't really matter which one comes first, whether the key is the English or the key is the secret language. So our three keys are those ones, and then we have the three values, French fries, homie, and you looking pretty hot. And uh, we can access the values by using the keys. So if you want to use like a translator, we could be like, I want you to print. And then within print, we want to print, uh, let's print secret language. And then within these little, uh, we access these with the square brackets, just like this. We can say, Yamak, let me try and get this right. Yamakamahama. 
Okay, and then you can press enter. Okay, so we got an error, so let's try to figure it out. All right, yeah, so we forgot to put a a uh, little quote, and I just pressed enter to bring that down to the bottom. So now when we do that, it brings French fries. It translated our secret language, and it gives us the English value French fries. You see what I'm saying? So um, that's how you work this. Um, in, origin in the original list that we used, when we did that, instead of using... Uh, yama comma hama we would just use like an index number so let's try that let's make a list list and within this list we got square brackets hey hello and sup and we will name this list we'll name it greetings all right so now when we want to print this we go print and then within this parentheses we can say greetings square brackets and then we could say zero that's saying the index zero it should return hey well when we go back to a map rather than having the index zero one and two we have the indexes yamakamahama suidu and sludafshuzuga see what i'm saying so that is how the map works another thing that we can try doing this Print, and then within here you could say secret language and watch what happens. It will print all of the keys and all of the values with the colon separated. So it pretty much works the same way as a list. The only real major difference is that we no longer use these indexes. We use our keys that point. We use, I'm sorry, we use our keys like Yama Kamahama to point to the values. Um, another thing we can't do a couple of simple things like we can't we can't concatenate things the same way like we couldn't concatenate two maps it doesn't work uh, you'll get an error um, but we can do things like update old values we could try that we could try uh, let's let's do it let's go hmm. we want it to be secret language and then Another thing you want to notice when you create when you create the map you use curly braces and then when you use it in the program you use square brackets why I'm not really sure but basically you use it exactly the same as a list but when you're defining it you use these uh, curly braces to tell Python that you want this to be a map not a list but when you use it you can just use uh, square brackets so, all right so uh, what we can do is we can change some of the values within the map. So let's try and do that. We can go um, favorite, uh, I'm sorry, what was it? C uh, secret, I don't know how to spell secret anymore. Secret language. And then we can access parts of this language. So we could say yama comma hama and we can give it a new value. We could say this means teacher here. So like if you're doing bad things in school and then you're just like you see a teacher coming down the hall, you just go, Yama Kama Hama and then everyone's like, What? But your secret friend, I mean your friend, uh, knows that you mean that a teacher is coming. That's basically how that works. And then you can press enter, and then when we print secret language you see that Yama Kamahama now points to teacher here. Same thing, we can uh, use the delete command. So we could go delete secret language. And then within uh, these brackets, we could go, let's delete Thweedu. And now when we uh, print this, we can see that it no longer exists. So that's just an introduction to maps. Um, obviously, all of this can go in more detail, but I'm just trying to give you an introduction so you know how to use all of these things. So I just want you to be clear on the difference between a list, tuple, and a map. A list ha is a list of objects that can be updated and changed. A tuple is a list of objects that can't be updated or changed. A map is a list of objects that can be updated or changed, but has keys rather than just numbered indexes. 
So hopefully that was helpful, and in the next video we will be moving on to something new. So thank you for watching, and please, 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 please be sure to subscribe. And yeah, I spelled that wrong.